let's try to solve another important sql question and this is one of the questions where i've seen a lot of people well i've taken mock interviews or i've asked this in in, in real interviews i have seen people struggling with with very basic concepts we've solved two similar questions if you've not watched it uh, they are present in the description link so so go through them let's try to understand what the question is so the question is given a list of associate ids and skills and corresponding skills right can you find a list of associates who are competent in only sql and python so and no other skill set right so ideally the question is the count of skills for a associate should be two and those two skills should be sql and python nothing else right so if you take this data set ideally 102 contains three skill sets so that is not a part of answer so it is just 106 associate id which has python and sql both that is a part of answer okay even if you take 10 uh, 103 even that is not a, the right answer because it contains two skill set but the skills are sql and excel right so just to understand the question with clarity now before understanding the solution let's try to understand the two most common mistakes with a lot of people will do right so the first mistake is that i have seen now a lot of people will write this query and what they'll do they'll first try to filter the data with the where condition where skills in either of sql or python right so this is the condition this is the first where condition then what they'll do they'll try to group the data by associate id they'll count the skills and they'll say that the count of skills should be two so they are doing two things they are first trying to filter with this in condition which kind of works like the the or condition either skill in sql or python and then they'll count right now the problem in this solution is that it will also count for those uh datas those associates who have more than sql and python as a skill set right so it will include sql and python but it will also include those associates who have something beyond sql and python and that is where it is wrong if you see the, the way it is executing is for 102 it will filter the first row because the condition can agrees right uh, skill is in sql or it is in python so the first row it checks sql is a part of sql or python condition it works even the second row works because python is a part of sql or python condition third row fails okay so ideally when you write the where condition these two rows will filter in for 102 and when you will group this data for 102 you will get the count as two so this query will throw out even 102 as an answer as one of the possible answers right which is ideally wrong so this is the mistake which you should not do now the second mistake is what some people will do they'll say that okay rather than an or type of a condition let's have a and condition so where skill is equal to sql and skill is equal to python now this is completely absurd right it's it's not even wrong it is absurd the reason why this is absurd or impossible is because this condition is is saying that the skill set which is mentioned here right let's say this column right and just color coded so you are saying that this skill should be both sql and python which is just not possible right this end condition will always fail because it is either sql it is either python it is either ml either something else right so this condition will always fail. so you will never get any single row in this data set because all the condition fails so this query is this condition itself is irrelevant okay it, it's kind of absurd right so this is these are two most common mistakes now once we've understood the common mistakes now let's just try to find the right solution now all we need to do is think about two conditions the count of skills and if we can create some kind of a flag right so which which we'll just which we'll just try to understand so what i'm doing is i'm trying to create one flag which will give me this condition right so whenever skill was sql or python i am saying that make that flag as one else make that flag as zero okay now what it does is what it it actually helps me with with the second part was that if you see the second part what i have done is i have done two things i have done the count of skills so for this base data i am doing simply count of skills grouping by associate id doing the count of skills at the same time i am doing the summation of this case when condition this flag that we've created okay so what it does is it kind of ensures that i get only those conditions which we need to fulfill and what were the conditions the conditions were the count of skills should be two at the same time those two skills should be sql and python so if you see if you see this row 102 row right this will not work because the count of skill is three here right but 106 it will work right the count of skill is two so the skill could be 
but ideally the skill could be even 104 could come if, if it is just about one one flag right if it is just about count skills but that is not what we want right because it could be sql or excel sql or python so count skills alone cannot work some flag alone cannot work because some flag is giving you just sql and python the summation of those two skills there might be even excel so even for 102 it might give you 102 so even these two things alone will not work but in combination they will so now if you understand the condition that we need to really filter on the grouped data is where count scale is equal to 2 and sum flag is equal to 2. That's that's the condition, right? So if you see, this is the answer. And just for your simplicity, I've created, I've written it in the select clause. Uh, you ideally can ignore, just you can just have the associated in the select clause. And even the way I've written having conditions, you can either write these flags, even in a lot of databases, this will work. Um, or you can just write these case when conditions, some case when condition, and that will work. It depends on database to database whether you can write uh, the flags in the having clause or not. Okay, but that is the answer. Hope you you learn this part. Uh, follow these three questions that we've done uh, of this pattern, and I think it will really help you. Do share, subscribe the channel, and uh, help me make more content around this.